everyone i hope all of you are doing great so in this lesson we are going to be learning about uh, rules in prometheus and we are going to see what are the advantages of rule and how we can create it how can we do a syntax check of rules and so on so before we move ahead just wanted to let you know that i have installed a node exporter on one more server so i created another ser server which is called web app 2 and then i installed node exporter on this server as 2 and after that i put this query in expression uh, and then click on execute and then you can see this is the result which we have got so what this is doing is it is uh, telling you cpu utilization of every 5 minutes okay for both the instance so we are averaging by instance which means we are averaging by uh, each instance so if we had more than two instances it would have shown us more number of lines here okay so right now we see we have two two lines here which is for each instance now just imagine if you want to run this query every time or if you are running this query in like a real uh, time scenario and just imagine you have thousand of servers and for each of these server this query has to run and aggregate everything and then have to show you the query result okay so in this kind of scenario the the performance you the performance of uh, prometheus may vary a lot so in order to you know make sure that your query is performing optimum what we can do is rather than you know running this query what we can do is we can create a rule in uh, in prometheus and then the rule is going to be running every 5 minutes and then what whatever the result of that rule is going to be saved in another matrix okay so what is going to happen is we just perform this uh, calculation once then we store the result in a new matrix and then when we want to show the graph here we are going to get the result from that new matrix which is going to be quite faster and when multiple people are running the same query it's going to be still faster because the results are already calculated okay so those are the scenario where we can use rules so in order to create rules let's follow the documentation and what it says is if we want to create the rule we need to have the query so we already have the query this is the query which we are going to use and this query is quite similar to what is there in the documentation only thing is I'm, I have removed instance and mode from average by the rest of the query is same you can use any other query it just depends on you so we need to go to we need to create a new rule file so we are going to name that rule file as prometheus.rules.yml and let's go let's move on to the server where we were running prometheus so this is the server i'm just going to stop prometheus by pressing ctrl c and then let's clear the screen let's do pwd so you can see right now i am in uh, slash home slash prometheus and under prometheus directory now i'm going to do ls hyphen lrta you can see this is where i am and now i'm going to create this file so i'm going to use vi editor but you can use any editor you would like and just open it and here we need to write the rule now syntax which we need to follow to write the rule is again going to be yml syntax so this is the uh, th these are the things which we need to write so let's copy it and paste it here and then in the expression i'm just going to remove mode and job so that's all i don't want to make any other changes and then we can just save it exit and then we need to check the syntax of this by using prompt tool if you want to check the syntax you can check it if you just want to if you are sure that your syntax is correct you don't really need to uh, use the prompt tool so in this case uh, we don't really for now let's just keep the checking the syntax and then later on i'm going to show you how we can check the syntax using prompt tool for now what we need to go is do is we need to go to uh, prometheus.yml file and there we need to tell uh, which is the rule file which we are going to use so this is in our prometheus.yml file we are going to add this so i'm going to open prometheus.yml and then here you see we already have rule files uh, tag here and here we can just I'm just going to remove this rule files it should be only one time and then it is the rule file name which we have is called prometheus.rules.yml then i'm going to save it and that's it we can now uh, start prometheus and now we are going to be moving on to prometheus server and 
now I'm going to rather than using uh, this this query we are going to use the name which we have already defined so let me just go ahead in the documentation section again and then you can see this is the job which we defined so we can just go ahead and use this job here and now notice one thing when we uh, this now this job is giving us the data of every CPU utilization for each of the node for every five minutes and you can see the data is coming here and it is not showing you the previous data so remember whenever you create the rule uh, to uh, put some new data into a new matrix you are only able you are only going to be seeing the data from the time the rule has been starting evaluating you are not going to see the previous data so that is uh, that is what you need to remember okay so i guess that's all in rules it was quite simple all we had to do was we needed to go to uh, prometheus uh, dot configuration file and there we had to define what is the rule name which we are going to use and then we also uh, had created a rule file inside which we had told what is the expression which we want to use so if you just want to follow the documentation again you can just go ahead and check and this is the name of the you know matrix where we are evaluating the expression and keeping the results in okay so we can just use this name now rather than writing this whole expression and this is going to have the same data and anyone who's running this query is go, uh, is going to see the performance is way faster than using this one so that's all see you again in the next video